What's up guys, Koro here and welcome back to another 6pm content video where today we are back for team 2 of Trailblazers. We're going to see what EA have released, we're going to dive straight into it. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you are new and comment. Who do you want from Trailblazers team 2? I have no idea what's going on in this intro, but anyway, let's get into 6pm content. And so here we go, as I don't know what happened in the intro, but anyway... We are here, we are back for another day of content, I don't know what to expect really. Club member reward, an EVO inspired by cover star Jude Bellingham for FC25 members has been granted to you. Redeem it now and turn your midfield creator into the next game changer. So we'll check that out. There is another EVO that came out for French players today. I'm about 15 minutes late to content, um, so I do know what's happened and yeah. It's not a bad day for content, in all honesty. Nuno Travares is there. Win six games with four Serie A players to obviously get the XP for this one. Um, play 10 games with four Serie A players as well. Score 10 goals with Portuguese players. Not too difficult either. And then assist three goals with crosses. He's not a bad card. Um, three star, four star is okay. Can play as a left mid as well as left back. All round, a very nice card for a full back. And especially in the Serie A. There's not too many apart from, obviously, um, Teo Hernandez, so kind of a good one to go with. The daily win games are back for Trailblazers, which is brilliant. Rare consumables, we get Mamouche for a loan of four days. Kind of doesn't really matter. He should be cheap. Uh, you do get an 87 plus four day loan as well. Now, I got Bon Matty in mind from last week. So if we could get Luis Diaz this week, that would be brilliant. That's what I am super excited about. Um, and then it is an 84 times three pack again to get that all done. So... Not too bad in terms of the objectives. Um, there's nothing new in terms of milestones, which is absolutely fine. We'll check out the Evos because there is, as I say, two new ones. So I think I might have to redeem the Jude Bellingham one. I'm pretty sure that normally ends up being what it is. So we might have to go and find that. Uh, Le Blues is the French Evo, though. Overall, max 84, max 86 pays, max 77 balance. Can't have any playstyle pluses. I mean, it's perfect for Canate. I can't lie. This is somebody that I probably will be doing. The only thing is, the playstyle plus that it gives is Travella, which kind of, you want that on a midfielder, in all honesty. So the likes of Fafana wouldn't be a bad option. Genduzi is actually one of the top ones for this. I think he'd actually be a nice card to go with. We also have... I mean, two ramp if you didn't do his SBC, not a bad card. Mateta actually wouldn't be that bad. That could actually be an alright card if you are sort of a Crystal Palace fan or you're just wanting like the meta cards rather than going with anything else. Um, apart from that, TK, Eka TK, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Do you know what? Tell actually could be one of the better ones as well. Yeah, that card wouldn't be too bad either with Travella plus obviously be very, very useful. Um, no plus plus rolls, but yeah. Maybe he'd be a good option. Stays at 4-star, four 4-star. Four also has right mid and left mid on his card. With the buying links, not a bad option. But if you want to upgrade your defence, even the likes of sort of Kimpembe, that wouldn't be a bad option. I mean, Canate goes up quite a lot of pace. His passing and his, uh, his dribbling doesn't go up, but his passing does go up. His obviously defending and physicals won't move either. So overall, it's kind of that sort of attacking midfielder would be better. But still... It isn't a bad option. Uh, I will just quickly go to the store to quickly claim this Jude Bellingham Evo so we can check that out. Obviously, it's not an Evo for Jude Bellingham. Um, before anybody asks that question, it is just purely like Bomb Pasta, like um, the Great Gooty Evo, which does expire tomorrow. Um, so make sure to get that done. Um, but yeah, it is just one based off him. I don't know where it is. Where is it? Unless it's in... Oh, there we go. It's not in cosmetics, but Hey Jude is the Evo. So max 83 rated, max 80 pace, position as a cam, no plus plus rolls, no play styles or no play style pluses. Well, sorry, no more than eight play style pluses. Um, Lucas Paqueta, not a bad option. That actually could be all right. I think Benacer could be one of the better ones to do. Elise, again, another good one. If you're sort of a buying fan, you've got Elise and you've got Tell. Both of those cards fit in quite nicely. Eze would probably be another decent one. Nothing brilliant. Um, Kulikevsky, not a bad option for another Evo. I feel like this is where like an Evo chain fits quite well. I mean, I can't lie. As a Liverpool fan, Roberto Firmino kind of is a really good option for me. Um, does improve the defending quite well. It goes up by 20. So, yeah, maybe I'm going to be doing it on him. 
Oxley chamberlain fits in, Minamino fits in, so Harvey Elliott fits in. That wouldn't be a bad card to get to an 86. So there's lots of different options available. I think especially if you're chaining a few cards in terms of like low-rated bronze cards, this is a good option to really give them that extra boost once they turn gold because once they do turn gold, from a 75 rated, they will go to an 86 with Relentless Plus. It is a bit to do him. Three games, three games, and then four games. So 10 games altogether, but to give an upgrade to a card that low rated, I think is worth it. It seems to be this year, it's not worth putting in sort of cards close to the max rating it gives out it is actually better off to go for cards that are much lower rated that get the full maximum boost i think that is better uh, we do have the road to the knockout and total rush upgrade pack back again now it is only an 82 and 83 i will do it but i'm not going to do it for this video because we don't really care too much obviously key was yesterday we get jamal musiala today Cam centre mid and left mid, obviously he is a fantastic card. It is nine segments. It is an 82, two 83s, two 84s, 185, two 86s and an 87. So EA keeping with that low rating theme, but a lot of squads to keep the coin total there. So normally you'd probably look at this being an 85, an 86, maybe two 87s and an 88. That would usually be what it used to be. However, now it is a little bit different um and then in terms of everything else i don't actually know if we've got too much others a small prime electrum for trailblazers challenge four again nobody's really that bothered the team of the week is obviously repeatable back again and i think that is it for sbc so the team there is a fantastic set of cards here vinicius jr obviously everybody's going to want him same with that dembele pop and bremer not too bad either Diaz, obviously, I would love that card. Guerrero as well, I think would be really good. Um, we've got Grimaldo in there, which wouldn't be a bad option as well. Again, a nice upgrade on his card already, which is good. Rodman for those links to Morgan and stuff. I think a lot of people will want hair. Bronze in there for the first special card for hair this year. Um, Mamouche, who we all kind of expect anyway to have a special card. Zachariah's not bad. Um, we do get one from the championship from Norwich. We get Saints. Borgia Saints or Saints, however you pronounce his name, I don't know. Uh, Milot, and then to be honest with you, down the bottom, Samba Agabadu Man. We get a, a man. Um, <laughs> what a name that is. And then, yeah, it, it's not really like the best team in the world. The top players are good, the mid tier players and the bad players are bad. Um, which is kind of disappointing, but hey ho, it is what it is. Uh, but we're going to open some packs. We're going to see if we can get one. I've saved up a lot of packs over the last few days um, just for this opportunity. I don't care about every single one of these store packs that EA have released, and my word, there is a lot. Um, player picks, see, these weren't that great last time, so I'm not going to do them again. We're only going to open some of the better packs, and I think that's mainly going to be some mega packs from rewards, um, and then maybe like all the sort of division rival rewards that's probably where i'm at in terms of what i want to open or like the 45k packs they could be something good but not really too amazing uh yildiz is not a bad or oh, sorry yildiz uh, is not a bad card he will probably fit in a good evo at some point uh, we'll make sure to discard a greenwood uh, because anybody who has any form of wanting to use that card needs to seek help and yes there's been somebody in the community that is trying to make good of it but anyway uh, thankfully saf deal with that uh, you can find it on twitter uh, anyway uh, we will keep scrolling through here making a few coins as we go but as i say i want to see trailblazers i want to see columbia and i want to see Luis diaz because that is a card that for me kind of would fit perfectly into my team would replace that informed peugeot that i keep using there's another trailblazers into the club which would be good as well uh, ten hog's been sacked so where uh, nobody wants him either <laughs> not going well with our actual packs right now but still plenty of coins to be made which is nice all of this sort of mid-tier fodder helps for those SBCs right now because it doesn't matter what SBC comes out every SBC needs to be anywhere between an 81 and an 83 rated team at some point so those cards even though the tradable will have a use to me at some point as well which is nice the mega packs though have not been so nice they definitely have not paid out I think one of these was from a... I think it was from winning a draft and then the other ones really have been from our rewards and well they haven't gave us anything so jersey 8 
thanks for absolutely nothing what we will do is we'll also open the other mega packs these ones are from doing linking your twitch account now this is worth doing because if you link your twitch account to your ea account and then you also link your youtube account to your ea account you basically get a free draft token and a free mega pack which i think is brilliant um it's a fair play to ea on doing that because we've just got a load of free cards for absolutely nothing brilliant cannot complain of that whatsoever plus also if you watch the um the tournament you'll get i think it's about 2000 xp possibly or maybe it's a little bit less actually maybe it's only 500 uh, but you will get some xp so it's worth doing i think it's absolutely worth it um ea putting that type of stuff in the game which is quite nice we do pack again doozy uh not that he's going to help us too much but again some of these cards may have gone up in price so it's worth checking your club we're going to open the 100k pack this is from winning 50 games of champs we don't get a walkout we get an english striker the wsl i don't actually know who this is oh russo and we do get cole palmer first time i've packed him this year and he's worth absolutely nothing uh lots and lots of duplicates a few tradable ones which is nice but again lots untradeable to go into league spcs upgrade packs the lot you cannot complain there and then the ones that i'm quite excited for we'll do the 75 times 30 pack first it is not special it is a walkout though it is a center mid it is going to be a Gundogan, isn't it i could tell by the hair his hair looks a bit like jack Grealish, but um yeah i mean it's an 87 rated you can't complain it's a nice bit of fodder into the club he is tradable which is even better um, all of that tradable stuff can go up there to help me out and then the rest can all be discarded unless is there any french cards i don't think there is yeah nobody that's going to fit that evo that anybody wants to do and then the final pack for today is hopefully going to be good we got the 75 times 40 from div 2 it is not special it is a walkout though it is a center back damn it it had to be ruben diaz it couldn't just show dutch and give me a virgil van dyke instead it's ruben diaz and alexis McAllister. i'll take that i haven't packed McAllister this year so that is nice for the liverpool team he should fit in evo at some point as well you would hope on with Ricardo in there as well possibly fitting into that new le blues evo as well and yeah that is about it let me know down below who you guys have packed who you're putting into the evos for now so we're gonna leave it for today i'm out peace